Only on ABC 15 tonight, you will see the gun a state senator says his former girlfriend pulled during a fight on a valley freeway. Tonight, ABC 15's Jennifer Park sat down with the senator's attorney with new details about what may have happened. We're looking at the Glock itself in the holster that it was in at the time. It's the gun in question. This Glock 36 is now taking center stage in the infamous freeway fight between the Arizona Senate Majority Leader and his then girlfriend. Initially, Senator Scott Bungard didn't tell us about the gun when we first interviewed him the day after the incident. He wasn't interested at the time of pursuing any charges against her, and to this day he's not interested in that. And he certainly didn't want to escalate the situation by mentioning the gun at that time. Attorney Mark Goldman, who represents high-profile clients, says Bungard told police Aubrey Ballard removed the gun from the console and he had to take it from her. He actually just grabbed it out of her hand, threw it in the back seat of the car so that she could no longer reach it, and then removed her from the car. Goldman says the senator told officers that night about the gun and they removed it from the car and put it in an evidence bag. But this attorney says they gave it back to him after police arrested Ballard and he was allowed to drive home. We have the gun in the, in the actual bag that the police put it in when they left it with Scott. So why wasn't the gun mentioned in the police report? That's the $60,000 question. So the senator's attorney handles the gun with gloves because he's convinced Ballard's prints could still be on it. Tonight, no comment from Ballard's reps about the alleged gun, but Bungard even took a lie detector test this week to prove he's not lying about the gun or if he ever asserted legislative immunity. Never asserted legislative immunity. He merely told them that he was a state senator. And I asked this attorney if the Republican has any plans to resign, and he said no, certainly not for the political gain of others. Brian, this is one we'll sure to follow.